queer core, it was like a, 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 a term that my, uh, my coll former collaborator G.B. Jones and I invented um, as, as part of the punk movement. So the punk movement had uh, within it uh, a number of movements. So you had uh, uh, speed core, you had, um, you know, um, you had hardcore music, you had hippie core, you had, um, you know, the, the idea of core just means it's a, it's a specific uh, uh, um, kind of group within the, uh, the, the punk movement. So when we abandoned uh, the gay movement in the 80s because we thought it was un uninspiring and bourgeois and stylistically challenged, um, we turned to punk because we thought it was a, a youth movement that was very political, very anti-authoritarian, very um, uh, independent, anti-corporate. And even though we were aligned with it politically, we discovered there was a lot of homophobia in the punk movement in the late 80s. And so we reacted against that by being making fanzines and inventing and films and inventing this queer core movement which was, uh, you know, simply a homosexual movement within the punk, within punk culture. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not really involved in the punk scene anymore, although I, I feel like I have a punk ethos or punk aesthetic uh, still. Um, but um, in terms of queer cinema, I mean, that's something different. I mean, when I started making my features in the early 90s, there was a, it was just the, the beginning of the whole kind of explosion of gay and lesbian film festivals and and there was a movement that was dubbed the new queer cinema because there was a, a whole group of queer filmmakers who were starting to make films with queer with homosexual content queer content so there was like Gus Van Sant and Todd Haynes and Tom Kalen and Greg Araki and and I was kind of uh, lumped in with with this group which is great. I mean, I'm, I, know, I know all those guys, and you know they're great filmmakers. Um, the difference is that I was making more punk films, more low, super low budget films, and more pornographic films and, and sexually explicit, explicit films. And um, so, um, my m films had a, a, a different agenda. They were intended as a, a kind of punk and queer provocation in their homosexual explicitness um, and in their kind of, um, you know, radical leftist kind of sensibility. So, um, so uh, I, I, you know, gladly am aligned with, with the, that movement, but I also am aligned with the, the queer core movement, which is uh, something completely different. Mother's delight